The first secret that is pretty dark is that your life will be unbelievably chaotic as soon as you make a decision to run or start your balloon business. Now, what do I mean? Well, I will say this. As soon as someone invests within my coaching program, as soon as they do it, life is completely chaotic. And it's almost like your life is smacking you across the face to stay where you are because it's comfortable and safe. So I want you to understand that when it comes down to claiming a decision in your business, maybe you're just getting started. You're like, you know what? I watch all these YouTube tutorials on how to do balloon garlands. I'm going to now start a balloon business. Or you're getting pretty much clients in the door, but now all of a sudden things are becoming chaotic. You're not getting clients it's inconsistent and you have no idea and you're like ready to give up the one thing I will say don't give up that's the, probably like the worst decision you could do in the midst of when your life is chaotic take it as a sign that huge abundance is coming your way I know that's counterintuitive to how we're taught to think and what life experience has taught us but I'm telling you the most transformative times in your life was when there was chaos you wanted to graduate high school you had to go through hell passing those exams you wanted to get your degree in maybe college or university you had had to go through hell and back but this is part of the process and I want you to know that it's not something that's abnormal it's actually very normal for most of my entrepreneurs CEOs my creative preneurs they go through when it comes to their balloon business in a business in general recognize that in order for you to grow you have to kind of like shed all of this crap that's on you now and be able to then progress forward into who you desire to be so the moment I said and claimed that I wanted to be a six-figure entrepreneur in this video right here my dad passes away that's not I don't believe in coincidence I believe in ti divine timing but at the same time I recognize what was going on that doesn't make it any less of an experience it actually makes it harder because I'm fully aware of what's going on but I will tell you this is that when you stick it out and you keep going oh my goodness it's like heaven <laughs> on the other side but then you got to go through it again so just know that just because you're going through something hard right now does not mean it's going to be hard all the time, right? This too shall pass. You guys heard of that. That's basically stating what it is. And there's biblical verses and spiritual guidance and all these things to basically say, stick it out and don't give up because there's bigger blessings on the other side. It's dark. It's scary. But keep going. And this next dark secret is not going to be something you're going to want to hear. And in fact, you probably already experienced it, but I'm going to say it anyways. You're going to get rejected the most out of your entire life probably you're going to be rejected the most when you run or start a balloon business and if you have been rejected multiple times and i'm talking about people who are saying you're too expensive people who will say why don't you give me a discount or why don't you do it for free comment below and let me know is that you i know that's you i know it because me and you are right here <laughs> I was a person who hated rejection in general. Like, we could go down the romantic. I've done vi multiple videos about talking about that. But just in general, not being loved by someone or not feeling good or not feeling like a priority, that is something I internalize. <laughs> I'm working on it. Recovering people please over here. But it is something that's necessary for you to go through when it comes down to your balloon business. The reason why I say this is because if you don't know what it's like to feel rejected, you won't understand or appreciate what it's like to have clients. Money will never be the result of why you do certain things. Instead, when you do focus on that, right, and you're constantly getting rejected, you're devaluing yourself as a CEO instead of uplifting yourself to know your worth regardless of how many times you got rejected. That is the real truth of what you should be doing versus what people normally do. I think one of the worst kinds of people to be rejected by is your family and friends. But I will say this is that just like I tell my designers in my group coaching program, it's part of the 
process. You actually have to be rejected by the ones you love the most in order to grow and transform and blossom into someone who is not emotionally tied to being rejected. In fact, you have to hear more no's than yeses. I always tell my designers, if you're hit, sitting here getting all these yeses, you're not meaning resistance and you're avoiding it in order to validate and confirm your ego to feel better. Feel what it feels like to get rejected. Feel what it feels like for clients to say you're too expensive, for, for your loved ones to say, why are you sitting here charging me full prices? Feel it because the more you feel it, the more desensitized you become to it. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been in this business for about four years, going on five in this summer. It is not easy. <laughs> In fact, I still get triggered by the people I love so much in my life when they sit here and say, you're too expensive, or they ghost me, or they want a discount. These are the things that we have to go through in order to continue to pursue your balloon business in a way that's successful. People who are six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 figure entrepreneurs are now worried about people who reject them because we don't focus our energy on people who don't see the value. We focus our energy on people who do. That's where the client's coming in. So here's a fun secret. Your family and friends are probably won't support you the most. The strangers that you meet, the people in this industry that you meet, and the clients that you book are the probably the ones who are going to support you, the business, the most. It is almost very rare that family and friends do support your business versus someone else that you don't know. So I want you to understand this is the dark truth, but it is the truth. And put it aside when it comes down to your feelings. I won't say suppress your feelings. I won't say don't even feel it. Feel it. Cry. I've cried. You've already seen me cry. But move on, right? Break loose from those chains of being wanted and loved by the people that you love dearly and give yourself permission to make the money you deserve by the clients who are willing to pay, who see the value in you without asking for any type of discount. Those are the people you continue to focus on. Because the dark truth is, there are family and friends who won't. And it's okay. That's their right. They're still a consumer, technically speaking. They're just not your dream client. Another dark secret about starting or running a balloon business is, you're going to question your self-worth based on your own success. So a lot of my designers in my group coaching program, and I am guilty of it. So everything that I do express about my designers, I've gone through as well. They tend to put their self-worth and value and their success on how many clients come into the door, on how much money their business makes. I'm letting you know right now, there's not a dollar amount in this world that is worth your value. Most people know I'm not religious at all, right? But I'm very highly spiritual because I believe God puts us all here do you know how hard it is to be a soul here on earth you know how many things we have to go through and avoid like you drive a car you're at risk of dying <laughs> higher than it is than anything else every day every second every minute every hour every year that you're here you are already worthy there's no dollar amount that can justify your worth. So I want you to understand and validate that yourself and stop questioning you. It, it is hard to charge your worth. It is hard to charge higher prices, but don't put your self value on the success of your business. Whether your business fails or succeeds, you are already valuable. You are already worthy because you're here. And I want you to adapt that belief because so many people, I want to say like 99% of people that I meet every single day through DMs on Instagram, through my coaching program, through my email subscribers, through everywhere that people can message, commenting down below. These are the things that people put. They put their self-value on the success of their business. So if they're not making money, if they're not getting clients, if they're not generating revenue, their value is low. Their, their worthy is low. That's not true. And if you continue to put your value on someone else's money and pocket and wallet, what does that say about you? You can't attract clients into the door with an unworthy energy. Take on these clients 
as if you already know the value that you bring. So it's up to really the clients to see it. You're already worthy. You're already value. I know that's more of a solution, but that's a dark secret that tends to happen when people jump into this industry. They put their self-worth into their creative skill and then wonder why they're so depressed when they're not making money. Don't do that to yourself. You are already worthy because you have the skill to share with the world. And whatever you have to go through in a self-realization, and a self-development you have to know that about yourself and when you know that about yourself you'll get success like this you'll get success like this and you'll get success like this that's when it happens that's when you're worthy that's when you start making money It's because money does not define you money follows joy money follows happiness money follows gratitude and when you already know who you are inside money will just flow so easily it comes naturally that was a good one <laughs> All right, so the next dark secret that tends to happen when starting a balloon business and or running a balloon business is your competition is not your competitor. Oh, I think we need some like drop mic music I'll be here. Let me say it again because I don't think you heard me. Your competition is not your competitor. But guess who is your competition? You. See, here's the dark secret about competitors in your industry. We tend to compare our business, our success, our value, our worth, our, you know, whatever else that comes to the business, comparing it to someone else's journey. They're not on the same journey as you. So why are you worried about their success? Why are you worried about the pretty pictures? Why are you worried about how many views they get, how many followers they have, how much money they're making? That has nothing to do with you. But it's a dark secret that all designers in this industry, especially when they're just getting started, that they feel. Sometimes you don't even have to get started. I've been in this business for four years. I've coached some designers who've been with me now for two plus years and they're still going through it because they want to grow into what they see so they become inspired. But your inspiration now becomes competition and then you start comparing your success versus theirs. You can't compete with someone else's journey, especially if you're not taking the same path. Oh, let me say that again because I'm feeling the vibes. You can't compare your journey to someone else's path. Their path is designed for them and your path is designed for you. And when you understand that portion of running and starting a business and maintaining a business, you won't view as your competition as competitors because the only person that I need to compete with is myself. Same goes for you. So don't look at other people and say like, oh, they're getting all this and they're getting all that. You don't know their profit margins. You don't know how much money's in the bank. You don't know how much cash they have in their pocket. The beautiful success and milestone looks great, but you don't know the dark secrets and challenges they had to go through in order to get there. Some people probably lost a lot of family in order to get the success sometimes that they went through. Some people had to sacrifice a marriage or relationship to be where they are right now. Some people had to sacrifice their health because they wouldn't give up despite what's in front of them you have no idea so stop comparing your journey to someone else's their path looks promising use it as inspiration don't sit here and think that their path belongs to you you're designed differently your timing is differently your success is going to be different so continue to shed light into you look at other people for inspiration but the moment you start comparing stop looking look within yourself fall in love with the process and watch your timing watch your path unfold because when you understand that then you'll be able to help someone else along their path Woo! and take a sip of water that was deep <laughs> deep and dark but how are you feeling I hope you're feeling good. The whole goal of telling you the dark side is to understand that you're not alone because I get it. The, being an entrepreneur, being a CEO, being a business owner is very an isolated journey. I mean, you can have family and friends 
support you but if they're not going through what you're going through it's a very hard connection to have so this is why I create these videos so let me know in the comment section like were these dark secrets something you're going through or is there something else that I forgot to mention you know I know pricing is another thing that's a whole different video we're gonna go into back into <laughs> maybe I'll do a dark secrets about pricing let me know if you want to see that because I will tell you some dark secrets in fact I made some big mistakes recently so I'm willing to share that but let me know like this video if you want to learn what I use to maintain my balloon business even after four years all the things from mindset to supplies to the brand names of balloons I put it all in this guide just for you so make sure you feel free to download it down below always know if there is darkness light will always come through design your dreams to reality all right I love you I'll see you in the next video bye did you see me did you see me see the black the eyeliner I wanted to give you the gloomy feels but with a little lightness in the back <laughs> I felt the vibes. Did you?